I'm actually at a pretty good point right now to start on some color. I opened up a piece I did earlier and I wanted to try and use some of those same colors in this one since it's also a Tomb Kings. So I usually just start out with either an overlay layer or a hard light layer, sometimes multiply, but usually overlay or hard light. So right now I'm just kind of blocking in the main colors, trying out some different color layers like dodge and soft light but I end up going back with overlay putting in color isn't just one quick easy little step or one single layer I usually build up multiple layers I'll have like a, an overlay layer with a base color and then maybe like a color layer and then a hard light layer you know, some soft light layers you know you just have to build up to it there's no quick and easy solution. I also like to play around the color balance a lot. I usually start with some kind of color scheme and then I tweak it a little bit and end up changing it to something completely different. I usually go through several different color iterations before I'm done. I'm still flipping back and forth between hard light and overlay layers. Not really quite sure which look I like the best right now. I'm just trying to get the decayed, mummified skin type feel right now. I'm not really happy with that color, so I'm going to start over with another hard light layer. Just put in some base colors. I like to add brighter lights behind the figure, too, to kind of make it pop, give it some more depth. The stage is always the hardest for me because, you know, right now it looks pretty weird and I get discouraged pretty easily when, once I hit this spot. It's just one of those stages that I always go through in every painting and I know that I just have to push through it because it'll end up turning out okay in the end. I've actually changed my painting process a lot in the past two years. I used to start out with a dark canvas and then working from dark to light, but I think my paintings ended up being too dark working like that. So I started out by painting from light to dark, and I think I get a lot more range that way. Plus my paintings don't end up too dark in the end. I think also for concept work you need to paint lighter so that the modelers can actually see what's going on with the, the character. With illustration work you can get away with painting darker and leaving a lot of things to the viewer's imagination but with concept you kinda need to flesh everything out. The more things that I can squeeze in on this painting means the less number of callouts I'll have to do later on. That being said, I try and choose a pose that doesn't cover up too much of the character's design but it still allows for some kind of dynamic pose that shows the character's personality. If you choose a pose where you can't see you know, the front of the character or maybe the, the sides of the character, you're going to end up having to do more views later on. The entire time I'm trying to think of ways to make the character look more interesting and positioning things so that if this bone is pointing one way, I don't want to have the bone next to it pointing the same way. I want to create some visual variety within the character. I'm also pulling out some negative shapes to give his silhouette a more interesting shape. I'm also trying to think of different ways to add textures within this character. So right now I'm painting a bronze headdress, putting some strong highlights on there, with some cracks and little dents. It should be a good contrast with the parchment and bones. I'm not really sure how the birds connect to the back of his helmet, so I think I'm going to move him to attach to his back. 
Plus, the curve of the birds will actually draw your eye straight to his head. So it's a good directional element. Most of the time, I don't really intentionally think of these things. I think it's more of an intuitive sense. Sometimes I'll just feel that something isn't working, so I'll kind of move it around until it feels better. I think I beat my painting into submission instead of coming up with a preconceived plan that I stick to. I originally planned on having him holding some kind of staff, but I've erased that out and I'm going to have him holding a, a sword instead, so I need to change this arm into a different pose. Painting skin is probably one of my favorite things to do. But painting exposed bone from flesh is pretty cool too. I'm going to keep this new arm on a separate layer so that it's easier to change later on. Plus I'm not really sure if this is the pose I'm going to use. I'm adding in some little negative shapes in his rib cage too, kind of allow the piece to breathe a little bit so it's not so heavy. Plus it adds more visual interest. I usually draw hands too big so it's a lot easier to resize them once this is on a separate layer. His arm is actually pretty huge so I'm gonna resize that a little bit. I'm trying to incorporate the bone motif a little more, so I'm gonna put some bones on his loincloth. I like to have repeating elements throughout a character, so if I have bones in one spot, I'm probably gonna try and add bones in another spot. <laughs> 